What's up, Bonic Beanie? Cliff, the vinyl cheapskate here. Coming at you with the Saturday coffee music. Uh, missed my drinking music last night. I uh, got caught up doing stuff. Uh, we adopted some kittens two weeks ago, and they turned out to have worms. So we had to clean everything, dump out, change out their litter boxes, and sterilize those, clean the room, all kinds of stuff. Give them some medicine. So I got caught up with all that yesterday. So didn't get a chance to do a video. But I'm doing a Saturday video, so that's it. Uh, been a busy week. I uh, had a bunch of stuff I did. Uh, traded in a bunch of those free boxes I wasn't listening to. And I got some stuff from Store Credit that I'm going to show today. And a couple other ones that I picked up over the past couple weeks. Uh, one from New York that I got at a thrift store that I'm pretty excited about. And I forgot to I was going to wait and do like a 20 bucks worth of cheap stuff with it, but it's a good record. I'm going to put it in my vinyl finds because I'm pretty excited about it. But, uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Just, uh, you know, cheers to everybody and, uh, let's get started. So I'll start out with what we're listening to and then the rest of the stuff I traded in that I got for store credit. So I'll start with that stuff. So what we're listening to is uh, some stuff that I got from Sandios Records in Beltsville. It's one of my spots. I like going there. They have they always have like interesting stuff. Not always stuff that I want. They always have something that I want there. There's always some stuff I want. It's a shop I have to make decisions. You usually have to make decisions at. I have never gone in there to record shop intending on, you know, when I go in, go in there intending to buy something, I usually walk out with something good that I'm excited about. So I'll start out with what we're listening to. Uh, it's... Saloon Sinclair and the Mother Bear. Uh, this was one I saw. Uh, I saw in the shop a few, like a month or so ago, more than a month ago, and then uh, I saw Cosmic Brian show it on one of his videos, and I was like, oh well, if he likes it, I'm gonna pick that up because it was it wasn't expensive and it it's got a really interesting, cool looking cover, weird stuff on the back. So when when I see weird covers from the 60s, I usually think eh, it might be good. But some that that's bit me in the butt a couple of times. But this is actually really good, kind of like as you can hear, it's like kind of hippie, folky, psyche stuff. Pretty good. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's pretty cool. You can tell these guys thought about their compositions. They. We're there for a little art rocky, for 60s art rocky feel to it. It's pretty cool, cool stuff. But yeah, that's the first one I got on store credit. And I could probably just call this another one that I got from the free box. It was, you know, I got it on store credit, so. Heavy heart, heavy, but. Hard and Heavy with Marshmallow, Paul, Paul Revere and the Raiders. Uh, I think I'm a Paul Revere and the Raiders fan now because I used my store credit to get another Paul Revere and the Raiders record. Or maybe I'm just on a kick right now because I really liked those two albums that I got for free from the free box. But they really turned me on to that. Uh, like I said, I heard some stuff here and there on like movie soundtracks and stuff. But this was... I, saw, I found this and it was pretty cheap and it fell... It, it worked into the, the the store credit, and I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to pick it up, because I know I'll never probably pay for this 100%, but I would pay for it if it was cheap. But I decided just to get it, and this is in really good shape. It's got a cutout, but you know how I feel about beat-up jackets. I don't care. And last one I got from Sandios. Sandios. 
And this is one I've been meaning to pick up for a while and I've wanted... I want to get pretty much all of the early stuff by this band. Uh, early Genesis stuff. Nursery Crime. Uh, early Genesis, I just really enjoy Early Genesis. It's like a completely different band than the 80s Genesis. I think this came out in 70... Early 70s sometime. What time? When did this come out? Uh, 72. That's what I thought. 72. Genesis. Uh, I think this is still with Peter Gabriel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is still with Peter Gabriel. But pretty sweet. Genesis. Nursery Crime. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this is good. Hippy dippy. Kind of garage rocky. Poppy. I'm digging this. Definitely digging it. Uh, so that's the last one I got from uh, blah blah blah. Sandias. That's the one. <laughs> last one I got from Sandias. Uh, next, uh, I also took the records that I wasn't keeping to. I still have a bunch that I'm not keeping. Like I said, so if you want like a mystery box of like three records, email me. I'll send you a couple. They're not going to be the best stuff, but you might find something you like. Just let me know. Uh, I have an email. If you check my description, I've got an email listed. Just email me. I'll, I'll send you a couple records if you, if you want some. The stuff I'm not really, doesn't really scratch my itch. But uh, anyway, I traded some more of these in at Celebrated Summer. I went there first, and I picked up some good Japanese hardcore stuff. It's uh, not like 80s Japanese hardcore. It's more like 2000s hardcore than one new one. Uh, I'll show the new one first. Uh, got the new Military Shadow. Uh, was it Military Rain? Violent Rain. Violent Rain EP. Uh, it's one-sided EP. Japanese band, they're new. This is from 2021, I believe. It's either 2020 or 2021 on FOE, F O A D Records. Fuck off with that. Records from. Are they German? I know they're in Europe. I think they're German, a German label. They might be a Spanish label. I don't know. I know they're in Europe somewhere because the records are always more expensive than the American ones. And it came on gray vinyl with a cool print. Uh, these guys do like a very metallic uh, Japanese hardcore. It's very metallic. It's it's borderline a metal album, but very good. Uh, great vocals, good, you know, Japanese hardcore. They like their musicianship, good musicianship on this. Sounds great. Uh, really good record right here. Military Shadow, Violent Rain. Pretty sweet. Uh, another one. This is a band I've I've been following this band forever. These are both bands that I've liked forever since the early 2000s, and I never see this one anywhere. So I decided to pick it up. Forward while you alive. Pretty sweet. Good, like driving Japanese hardcore fast. This is from 2000 and like 2009 or something. I don't know. It may be earlier, but this is from the 2000s. It's kind of a cheap heat type deal. There's a lot of this stuff that's pretty cheap. Forward, for some reason, people look over as a Jap, but I think they're a great Japanese hardcore band. Really good, pretty straightforward. Here's the guys on the back. Uh, this is also an EP. It's pretty short. But yeah, I was stoked to get this. Like I said, I never see this one around. So they had a they, they had a lot of forward stuff in there. Somebody like cleared out their forward collection and sold it to Celebrated Summer. But I was trying to keep within my uh, store credit, so I didn't buy a ton. I would if I was buying. If I went in there and I was like, I'm gonna spend 60 bucks today. I would have bought all the forward stuff they had. I just would have picked it all up. Because they had 
three of them that I didn't have, and that was one of them, and they had two other ones that I don't have and I want, but maybe next time they'll still be there. Doesn't seem like they go very fast, so hopefully they might still be there. They might not, I don't know. Uh, and this is another one I never see anywhere. DSB. Useless system, blah, blah, blah. Useless, useless system abuse by DSB. Uh, DSB's another awesome early 2000s Japanese hardcore band. Uh, I actually saw these guys live. They came to Philly back in the day and I got to see them live. And I've loved them ever since. I've uh, been a big fan. But I never see this anywhere. Nope. Comes with the, the DVD too. It says a sample of, what's it say? It's got a warning shot, the warning shot video clip. So I don't know how long this DVD is, but it comes with a DVD with a with a video clip on it. So pretty sweet. This is a gatefold. But yeah, I, I cleaned up some Japanese hardcore with my I haven't bought hardcore in a little while, so I had an itch. And as par usual, celebrated summer all. Scratch the hardcore itch. I can always find good stuff there. That's a that's a store that'll make me make decisions in five minutes. I look through the new arrivals. I have to make decisions. So pretty sweet. I usually sometimes I don't even get to the bins. I just buy straight out of the new arrivals, and I'm like, well, I'm tapped out. Uh. So yeah, Japanese hardcore. Let's move on to some other stuff. Here's the one that I was excited about getting at a thrift store when I was in New York. Uh, we went to, it's called the Reuse Store, I think. It's just called the Reuse Store. And I got a stack of records from there, which I'm gonna use for my 20 cheap records. But I haven't listened to all of them. And uh, I haven't listened to all of them and they're filthy. They really need a cleaning. This one didn't need a cleaning, but Eric Dolphy Memorial album. Uh, trying to get a little more into the jazz, especially after listening to a bunch of the free stuff I got. I got some jazz records in there that were pretty decent. Mostly funk jazz. You won't like funk jazz that much. It doesn't go for much, I guess. But yeah, Eric Dolphy Memorial album. This was a sweet find. I was excited to see that. So, pretty cool. But yeah. It's only got four tracks on it. But they're long tracks, that's why. Jitterbug Waltz, Music Matador, Alone Together, and Love Me. But yeah, pretty sweet. I was excited about this one. Uh, last but not least, I got some metal. I pretty much ran the gamut on this one. I got a little bit of everything I like. <laughs> uh, another eBay score. This one was also from that same seller that I got the Zappa stuff from, that uh, Let's Talk Metal, Alan uh, did the video on. Uh, but this got reposted, somebody won it, and I guess they didn't pay for it, and they reposted all the stuff that nobody paid for. And I went on, and I lowball bid a bunch of stuff. I lowballed this, I got this for, a, it was like 11 bucks. Hell yeah, dude, I'll take some Samson for 11 bucks. Great album. Little sleaze on here, which is great. Some grime crime is ridiculously good, ridiculously sleazy, and kind of funny, but good at the same time. Uh, this is real rocking, new wave of British heavy metal stuff. Definitely more. This one feels a little more on the lines of uh, hard rock stuff from the 70s. Definitely bleeding into this one a lot, but some definite. Uh, heavy metal licks going on for sure Really good stuff. This one features Bruce Bruce AKA Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden So that's one of the big selling points for this one for me is it had Bruce Dickinson on it And I'm pretty stoked stoked to get this It's on a one of the RCA labels it Comes with the inner sleeve and yeah, man, 11 bucks. I was pretty happy about that line. Like, 
with the price of heavy metal skyrocketing the way it has been for originals or older pressings, like getting the Samson record was a pleasant surprise. And last but not least, I got a pre-order, but I ordered some stuff with that pre-order that came in. And it's all the same band. Uh, I pre-ordered the new Hold Their album. Uh, my favorite, probably my favorite newer black metal act right now. As it might be a lot of people's, but I'm pretty stoked about this. I got the super fancy splatter, swirl, crazy vinyl. Uh, yeah, so I've got the crazy vinyl version. This was the first version that sold out, as usual, because it's the crazy weird vinyl version. Or colored vinyl version. Uh, came with an insert. Look at that picture. Holder always does a great job on her artwork and layout. Uh, Music stellar, as as per usual. Uh, this one came out on twenty bucks spin, and twenty bucks spin also repressed a bunch of her other stuff, uh, like these two early demo tapes. Uh, this is what's this one called? This was called Ascending the Raven Stone. So this was her first tape. A lot rawer than a lot of her other stuff, but it's great, great stuff. And I also, sorry about the glare, but I didn't unwrap these yet. Uh, got this rehearsal tape from 8-13-2018. Uh, this rehearsal tape as well. Some of the same songs overlap on these, but still pretty cool. I'm excited to get these. And I bought this CD thinking it was another album, but it's not. It's these two tapes on this CD, which I didn't realize when I bought it until after I would purchased it. And now it's here. I have holder for my car now. That's all. Pretty sweet. But yeah, that's it. Perfect timing. The record just ended. So I'm just going to say goodbye and uh, hope everybody has a good rest of their weekend. And cheers. Seriously, hit me up if you guys want to want me to send you like a record or two because a lot of these I might, hopefully I can get all of them traded in somewhere for some store credit, but maybe not. And what better way than spread it to you guys. But anyway, cheers guys. Have a good one.